Hey Scorpios, how are you guys today? This is your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're looking at your, like I said, your relationship or your pending relationship. One's coming in. And this is for March 23rd through the 31st. So I apologize for the delay in getting this video done. Um, some weird things have been happening this week. You know, Mercury retrograde, the whole uh, vernal equinox, just boom, a ton of stuff. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Scorpios, let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, so Hermit, Virgo energy looking inside, being very, not only circumspect, but really learning the lessons. That feels like really learning the lessons of your life, okay? Just like being in this place of, wow, now I see how things connect. And having, listening to your guides, listening, getting a better handle on listening to your guidance, yourself, your intuition, um, really being able to do that. And you're very much in this place. Woo, Queen of Wands, all right. Your person, boy, lots going on here. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, what the heck, guys? All right, so um, you could be in this, you could be in this hermit place because things have hit a bump. Okay, I get ten of wands, ten of swords. I'm getting five of cups, five of pentacles. Um, so let's just go through it. Ten of wands, two of swords. Queen of Wands. This is you, Scorpio. Um, taking a break from a lot of responsibilities. Taking a break. Uh, a well-deserved break. Um, and you're just sort of like, what can I put down? What needs to go away? Uh, because it's impacting my relationships on all levels. Family, friends, your person here. Definitely impacting. <coughs> and... You guys are going through a bit of a rough time here. So they are the star, the one you've wished for. Ten of Swords. Surrendering surrendering to the energy, surrendering to the... I mean, this card is called Ruin in this deck. That's so, you know, like... But Glass Half Full Gal here is like... Um, surrendering to this spiritual connection. So if you have been a Ten of Wands person very uh, in the physical, we talked about this in the Empress Club today, very much in the physical, because Queen of Wands is totally in the physical, right? Very sexy, very hot, super, you know, earthy. Um, and Scorpio, that is you, okay? So if you're surrendering to this spiritual thing, it's like you're a stranger in a strange land, okay? Five of Cups. So you're like, <laughs> it's like you just learned how to drive a car, and you're having a dream that out in the driveway is like an 18 wheeler that you have to like, you just got your license so I can handle, you know, my VW Jetta, but I don't know if I can handle this 18 wheeler. So you may have stumbled over some things. There might have been some kind of, um, you know, tussle. Five of cups. So maybe moving too fast. Chariot. Okay, that's a, you know, we use the um, <laughs> the car analogy, and then here is Chariot. Chariot, five of pentacles, two of wands. So you're really, this relationship is in a place of like, we're not sure what's going to happen next. Um, you're sort of like this, whole, uh, blocking your heart a little bit. They are sort of in this Ten of Swords, like, fuck it, <laughs> a little bit. And then they're feeling very sad about that. And then this relationship together is sort of like, what are we, what's going on here? What is going on here? Let's do a, let's do a card or two for this Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Okay. So this is old fear. This is, this is fears. Like if you have been together in the past... You're afraid that it's going to happen again. Whatever that it is, you're afraid, son. You have no, nothing to worry about, my darlings. 
Um, <clears throat> you and your person. So there could be there could be baggage from other uh, experiences, right? And you're in your hermit mode, going, "Do I trust this person? Do I trust this situation?" I'm feeling like it's very good, and they're feeling like it's very good on some level. But then there's fear, and it's all thoughts. It's not real. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. It's not real. The Five of Pentacles thing is the reality of how that's manifesting, of can I trust this person? And yes, you can trust this person. Just know that you have to work through, Hermit, you have to work through your fears. You have to work through, well, how can I put myself out there again? They crushed me before. They're worrying about being disappointed or maybe the whatever happened before. Now, this could be past life stuff. So if this is a new person, for some of you, this is a new person in your life and it's reminding you of something, okay? It's reminding you of something that happened in your past that really hurt, was overwhelmingly bad for you. And this nine of wands is being persistent, okay? Being persistent in the face of that fear and knowing that it will work out. That's really nice. And then this two of wands is making decisions for the future. So if, if Scorpio, if you're in this place of like, you know, how do I really move forward with this person? Let's get one more here. Two of swords. What's the two of swords here? Tell the truth. Say it. If you see it, say it, right? So what's going to help you here is once you are in this, you're really looking for your truth here. And once you get it together and you understand that this is about past things, ghosts, right? This is about other people who have been in your life. Or if it's about this person, they're ready now. And they are also afraid. So it behooves you. Uh, and use this Ace of Swords gently, gingerly, okay? Don't cut them with this. But when the moment is right, you'll feel it because they're also feeling weird. So when you're in the moment is right, have this conversation so that you can move down the path like this, right? Have this conversation of like, you know what? I'm really afraid you're going to crush me again. Or I'm really afraid. Be I don't know why I'm afraid. Like you're new to me and it just feels like familiar in a negative way. And I want to talk with you about that. I want to talk with you about that because I think you're awesome. I think this, this is a really good connection. This Queen of Wands star card. Let's, I want to move forward. But I want us both to feel good about moving forward. So let's get it out. Let's get it out. What's going on? Let's talk about it. Wow. Okay. So you know that this is the key. Ace of Swords. So, all right, so if you want to go deeper into this, we'll do a little bit more. We're going to get some cards for you, guidance for you. We'll get some uh, messages from your person, like <laughs> why are they feeling the fear too? And then how this plays out, we'll also get guidance from the universe. And I'm going to use these Gaia cards because they're just so incredibly powerful. Okay, so if you're interested in doing the extended read, this is pretty good. You know what the key is, Ace of Swords. So if you're interested, there's a link below to go on over to March 2018. Scroll all the way down so you don't click on the wrong uh, Scorpio reading. It's March 23rd through the 31st, and there's a lot of videos in there. So thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you on the other side.